Hi there, welcome to a quick video lesson on dividing polynomials. What we're going to do in this video is look at the long division process and see how we can use that to divide a polynomial by a binomial. Just a quick blurb on what this method even is. A polynomial long division is a great way of factoring expressions. You can take a trinomial, for instance, and factor it. You can also take expressions involving four terms or more. That's something you can't do using conventional factoring methods. I'm going to show you how to use this long division process for a simple trinomial that's a quadratic. You could definitely factor this using conventional methods, but I'm going to show you how to use the long division process. The first thing you do is you're going to write your binomial on the outside of a long division sign with the trinomial underneath. So it looks like this. Next thing you do is you ask yourself, okay, if I take this first term, this x squared, and I divide it by just this x value here, not the two, I'm gonna ignore this for the time being, what do I get? So what you're essentially doing is x squared divided by x. If you know your exponent laws, you should be able to see that that's just x. x squared divided by x gives me x. Okay, so I'm just gonna write my x on top of my long division sign. I like to rack these things up on top of the terms that they match up with. So you can see here I've got my x terms lining up. So I just leave this first spot blank. The next thing I do is I say, okay, well, if I take x and I multiply by x, I found this x, I'm going to multiply by this guy, what do I get? There should be no surprise there that you're going to get x squared. We actually chose x so that that would happen, right? So if I take x and multiply by x, I get x squared back. I'm going to write the result of that multiplication directly below my x squared. Next thing I'm going to do is say, okay, well, what is that x times 2? should be no surprise that I get 2x. Positive 2. Sorry about that. What we're going to do next is subtract this entire expression, which in this case is just two terms. So I'm going to put brackets around this just to remind you that you are subtracting the entire expression. If you have a minus sign here, it gets a little tricky where you end up with like a positive minus a negative number. In that case, you'd be adding. In this case, we're just doing straight subtraction. So x squared minus x squared, we get zero. I'm not even going to write that here. If I take 5x and I subtract 2x, there's no surprise that I end up with 3x. So at this point, you're kind of finished with what's up here. You can kind of imagine that you're done with all of this. And you're now entering a new problem where we're going to check what 3x divided by x is, just like we did in the first step of this problem. I always like to stop here and just kind of take a breather because these problems do get a little bit intense after a while. But essentially what you're doing is looking at this as a new problem. You're looking at 3x and saying, well, what's 3x divided by x? Before we continue, though, I'm just going to erase that. I have only got one term here in the previous step. What we need is several terms. I'm going to pull down that 6 from up here. I'm just going to take that 6 and write it right there. So what I'm going to do is take 3x. I'm going to divide by x. Just like I did in, in the first step, I took x squared divided by x. And what I get is 3. No surprises there. 3x divided by x is 3. So just like I did in the first part of the problem, I'm going to take that number 3, just like I did with the x. I'm going to multiply by x. And I'm going to write the result of that underneath my 3x term. I picked 3 so that I would get 3x. I'm also going to take that 3, and I'm going to multiply by 2, and I'm going to write the result of that underneath this 6. Right? This is why I brought that 6 down, so that I had enough terms to do my full subtraction here, which in this case just gives me 3x, and I'm going to subtract to get 0. I get 6 minus 6, also 0. So in this case, I get a nice 0 value here. There's no remainder. We call this a remainder at the end. You do get a value here. We call that the remainder. And I will show you in a subsequent video how to deal with that. That is essentially the long division process. Very simple example. And I'll do a few videos that show a little bit more complex ones. To check your answer, you can just take what you got, right? I've got x plus 3. And I'm claiming x plus 3 times x plus 2 will give me this trinomial back. Okay, if I just use the FOIL process here, you can see I do in fact get my original trinomial back. All you need to do is just show using FOIL, remember you multiply your first times your first, outside times outside, inside times inside, and last times last. And you'll see that you do get the original trinomial back. That's it for that example, the polynomial long division. Stay tuned for other examples. This does get a little trickier and I'll show you a few of those examples shortly. Thanks for watching.